Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the atomic shop, see what we got there. Afterwards, we're going to take a look at the daily challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score. And we're going to take a look at the daily ops, see what we're facing off against today. And I'm going to show you a final boss fight plus my rewards that I got for today. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so first things first, we got uh, the Pale Rider skin for the Power Armor, which is, I believe, one of the Riders, Death Riders, the four of them. And once again, coming with a 20% discount, which is a shame. It is a pretty old set, as I've mentioned before, and it should go, like, if it were to be, like, 50%, I would most probably buy them all. But, man, not 20%. No thank you Bethesda. Uh, then we got the mini Deathclaw stat statue, which is actually pretty cool. And I've been having it forever, even on PC. And it really looks cool with the classical columns. Like, uh, as you can see over here, I have it, right? Uh, but let me go ahead and build one to show you what I mean, because it really looks good. By the way, these classical columns are also from the it's Atom, Atom Shop. I'm not sure when they will be available again. So it should be in the floor decor section so here's the classical column and here's the death call statue so on its own it looks like this but on the classical column it actually fits to a specific area so if you want to build a death call for instance uh, it should look like this right and it will look great it actually fits in automatically like as if it's an, an, an additional statue like these things right here like it kind of like stacks on top and then that's the way it looks like so you, you will need if for example you will build the deathclaw statue and it's gonna like you build the column and then you build the deathclaw statue and it's gonna look like this you won't be able to move the actual statue around because it's already sticked to the column right so you're gonna have to move the entire column in order to make it look so as you can see uh, the deathclaw statue is pretty cool right I mean I like it and I think, like all others, I believe it's going with 80% discount, so it's definitely a good deal. Um, not quite sure what's the discount for Deathclaw, because, uh, once again, I still don't have pa access to patch notes for some reason. Bethesda maybe the, forgot to upload it or something, I don't know. But anyway, so I hope that's uh, more than enough uh, info to get you started with that item. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look what we got for the daily challenges. Ooh, what happened? What is this? Where's that huge list of things we gotta do? What happened to it? <laughs> That's it? Party gone? <laughs> Come on, Bethesda. Oh. So, what we gotta do is claim a workshop, complete a daily operation, which I'm gonna do right now because I do these daily to get access to some of those plants. Yesterday I got the Brotherhood Armor piece. I don't remember what, what was it. Uh, then I'm looking for a pistol and some other stuff. Well, anyway, uh, complete a challenge, uh, complete an event, uh, Gold Star daily challenge, kill a death claw. So basically, Gold Star is do five dailies and this tri gets triggered automatically. Complete an event is simple. Kill a death claw is also simple. Uh, level up one time, mod a weapon. By the way, if you sk skin the weapon, it works. So it's cheaper to skin a weapon, unskin, skin, unskin, and it works. So you don't waste your adhesive, screws, and other stuff. So if you got any paints or whatever, just apply the skin and, and it's good. Nuclear Winter, survive for 10 minutes. Okay, well, Deathclaw, if you're like a lower level, the only lowest level Deathclaw that I know of is located here at the Deathclaw Island. So that's, that should be your target. Alright, so that's uh, pretty much it for the daily challenges. Let's see what we gotta do for the daily ops. And today we got Blood Eagles and Valigaleria cloaked. Why? I hate cloak. Like, I really hate cloak because it doesn't work. <clears throat> well, it does work, but sometimes it doesn't. So the guy is like shooting, but he's still invisible. So for Sneaky Peaky, uh, I mean, for the VATS build, if you like playing with VATS, definitely no good. Uh, heavy guns, yeah, but you spit a lot of ammo. If like if there were to be like exploding death, maybe I would even grind today, uh, because that those are guys are pretty simple to kill. Like you just waste one to two bullets, 
to the head and the remaining bullet you, bullets you uh, kind of loot up so basically it's actually really cool uh, so personally myself I'm gonna be using the flamethrower for this one because I can't be bothered man dealing with uh, aiming and stuff like that so let's go and I will uh, see you at the boss fight alright here comes the target oh no I've got 30 seconds 30 seconds and he's on top floor, damn it. Whew. Melted him. Whew. Man, for a second there, I thought I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> but I made it. Oh man, there's a lot of ammo I'm gonna leave behind. Stop shooting, I wanna take a look what I got. Come on! Game sound good. Vampire Ghost Shotgun! <sighs> I was looking for one. Plasma Cutter? What the hell's that? Oh, is that melee weapon? No. I'm curious to find out what that Vampire Ghost Shotgun is. <laughs> I was actually looking for one. And that's really nice. A Vampire Ghost Shotgun. Sweet. Please be something good. Second, I don't know what I want for the second. I, I don't even really pretty much care. Uh, bat crits would be nice. Oh man, man. These loading screens, man, is just crazy. Like, the best. Er exactly what I wanted. Faster fire rate. <laughs> Like for real? Come on man, why you give a faster fire rate on the freaking shotgun? That's not even freaking funny. Great. Well I'm still gonna check it out. See how good it is. Alright, plasma cut. What's up with you? But you can't make it uh, legendary. You can only have a chance to loot it legendary as far as I know. That pretty sucks. But at least I have a chance now getting that plasma cutter. Oh great. I didn't check if this weapon workbench actually works here. Let's move it a little bit here. There we go. So it is uh, an edge weapon, no? Oh, there you go. Plasma cutter. Poof. Aluminium, black titanium, secretary. I'll make a small level and see if you can trade it and whatever, if you can drop it and just to show it to you how it looks like. Plasma cutter. Zing. <laughs> you hear that? That actually, actually sounds good. What? Are you telling me this thing is... OP and it's level 30 man let's have a little test drive super mutants I'm just so curious I don't even have perk cards for it <laughs> alright let's go with the test drive Woohoo! level 30 what's up man Actually, that is not bad. I mean, this is a uh, a level 31, a non-legendary, no uh, freaking perk cards whatsoever. It could be actually pretty good. Maybe I don't know. We'll see when I'm gonna get the legendary one. But let's see if we can drop it. Like a not. Hey, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Meaning you can't trade it either. Right. Just perfect. The Oathbreaker. Woohoo! I got a bloody one too, by the way. Still need to make a review for that one. Boom. It's slow. No. Yeah. 
Alright, Z-Clan and everybody else, uh, this is where I'm going to be calling in the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can react to them. So if you want your comments to be read, feel free to leave your positive negative feedback without swearing. So, simple as that. And if you're new and subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now. From the ashes we rose.